Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and today we're going to kill two birds with one stone. Yes, we are going to cover the most recent Galadon 1v10 war while we cover the controversial question, has Clash gone too far? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, okay, so let's get into that in just a moment. First of all, let me remind you that, of course, you will not be going too far by subscribing to the channel, turning on notifications, and using code Galadon. All of these things help keep the channel running, help keep me bringing you amazing videos as often as I possibly can. So thank you guys that are doing all of those things. I know it's a lot to ask. I know it's super demanding, but hey, that's what the subject of today's video is. Okay, super demanding, a lot to ask. What I'm saying is... Is Clash of Clans becoming too much to handle? Is it just too complicated these days? Now that they have added the clan capital, has Clash of Clans jumped the proverbial shark? Is it true? Have they just gone and added too much to the game? I mean, think about it. What do you have to deal with already? Upgrading, of course. You want to get those higher level town halls. Then you got to get out there and do clan war. Got to work on your clan's level so that you get more of those benefits from being a higher level clan. And then move on. You got to do clan games and get those clan games done because there's some amazing rewards. Uh, speaking of amazing rewards, what about the gold pass? Even if you don't buy the gold pass, you've got the free pass. And then CWL. Got to get your CWL medals because there's more cool stuff over there. And then to top it off. Yes, the clan capital is here, and you got to get those raid medals and capital gold, and if you don't, uh, you're just, you're not a good clasher, right? So, and now, of course, that's just scratching the surface. Let's cover a little bit more about all of the things that clashers are asked to do pretty much all the time. Collectors, loot cart, treasury, donating trips, training armies, laboratory, obstacles, gem boxes, decorations, trader shop, builder base, hero skins, and sceneries. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on, and then you go back and you add the first six things that we talked about, and I'm telling you right now, there's just too much to be done in Clash of Clans. They can't ask all of this of me. I can't take it anymore. Okay, guess what? Here's the point, folks. All right, there is one thing that all of those have in common. Are you ready for this? This might blow your mind, okay? They're all optional. All right, I just had to give that a moment to sink in for all those of you feeling overwhelmed. It's true. Yes, you can actually skip, not do any or all of the items on those lists. Depending upon the clan that you're in, find yourself a clan that is the speed that you want to play the game at, and then just do what you like, do what you want. And I know I'm being a little bit salty about this, but I keep on seeing an increasing number of comments in the community and in other people's communities and Reddit and other places like that where people are saying that the game is too complicated or there's too much to do. I just can't handle it. I've got a job. I've got school. I've got family. I've got work. And now all these things in Clash of Clans, it's too much. I don't know. I, I, I seriously, I give up. If if you're getting overwhelmed by a game, then you need to you need to rethink your priorities. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit funny about talking about this because obviously I think that in the large, big picture, when you see the forest through the trees, it's a good thing that Clash of Clans has a multitude of options of tasks and other things to keep you busy throughout the day, week, and months. And obviously, they have been pretty good about keeping the game going for the past 10 years. And I will tell you right now that inevitably, every single update I've ever seen since 2013, somebody in the community, and sometimes a lot of people in the community say, this is it, this is it. This is the update that killed Clash of Clans. Guarantee you, I'm out of here. All of my friends are quitting. This game is dead. And, and what do you know? The game keeps going. The game keeps making millions and tens of millions of dollars and the company keeps growing. So I, you know, I guess somebody is right and somebody's wrong. Huh? What do you know? So I, I'm just saying that I actually am enjoying the clan capital and whether or not players decide to play it, that's totally up to them. I do feel like it's going to be better than builder base as far as long-term player retention. I have seen a lot of people coming back to the game, enjoying it. It is different. It is something that the entire clan can take pride in. And again, it's flipping optional, people. You don't like it. 
then don't do it. And, and that's the great thing about Clash. Now, also, I have to remind myself when I start to feel overwhelmed that I have 20 Clash of Clans accounts. And I'll tell you this, the average Clasher, you ready? You ready for this? Guess how many accounts the average Clasher has? It's true, one. Yes, the average Clash of Clans player has one. And if you had to do like a median calculation, it's probably somewhere around 1.15 or 1.2 accounts per player. In fact, I bet it's even lower than that. I think it's probably lower than that. It's just, there's a vast majority of players that just have one account. And I know that we are all passionate and I'm guessing right now that the average viewer watching this video has like 2.5 accounts or maybe three. Let me know down in the comments. I'm actually curious how many accounts you guys have because I feel like if you're taking the time to watch YouTube videos about Clash of Clans, chances are you have more than one Clash of Clans account. Oh, oh, hey, 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 okay. Now I've talked enough about that and made my point. Check out what you're watching on the screen right now. This is, this is the most recent 1v10 war that I did win, by the way. Did not get a perfect score, but the most interesting thing in this entire war was the opposing number one player, Ung Tong, using an attack strategy that I thought was just pure trolling. And then I realized that maybe he was actually being serious about this and going for a two star with an attack that I had never ever seen before. So he's gonna do this twice. Okay, he did this on my number one base and he also did this on my number two base. And I, I don't care what number of stars or what percentage he got. Shout out to Ung Tong for the most entertaining, original and interesting attack I've ever seen. Flame Flinger, Super Minion, Skeleton Spell. That's right. It is the FFSMSS and uh, FFS, right? FFS is all I have to say. Uh, yeah, it's it's a crazy attack. And, okay, fine. It didn't work out that well for Ung Tong. It didn't, but it looked really, really cool. It was entertaining to watch. And it was a fun little twist for my 1v10 war, which I did increase the win streak. We will get out there and try again. But the idea behind today's video was just a friendly and simple reminder that Clash of Clans is as simple or as complicated as you choose it to be. Let me know. Am I wrong? Tell me down in the comments. Share your opinions. I care. I do still read every single comment of every single video. And thank you, Galafam. Those of you that are actually still here, that watched all the way to the end of the episode, you and you alone are the true hashtag Galafam. You're the ones that I love, think about, and appreciate every single moment of every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to the people and animals on the planet. I'll see you back here. Get tomorrow for more full attacks. Man, did that video go by quickly or what? I just feel like I just started it and now it's over. Gallido. It's completely over. Gallido. It's not over yet. Peter $17 hasn't had his time to speak. Now I say.